Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. I am Mr. 23 and today I'm going to teach you how to apply this glitch effect in two ways. This is the manual way and this is by using a filter. For this tutorial I choose this image but you can use your own photo if you prefer. Usually we have a color photo but to generate a better glitch it's much better to have a black and white picture. So we are starting with this color picture and first of all let's duplicate the layer if we ever want to come back to it so we have it. And now go to image, adjustments and desaturate. And now let's duplicate this layer again. So to the top layer double click on it and now here where it says advanced blending we, ha we have the channels. So we just have to uncheck the red channel which is the first one. Alright, and now all we have to do is just move the background left or right so we generate this glitch effect by using the RGB split. Now let's create a new layer and in this layer I'm going to fill it with white so take the paint bucket tool and fill it with the color white and now we are going to generate some horizontal lines that will help us to achieve a much better glitch. Go to filter and choose filter gallery. Here choose half tone pattern usually there are circles or dots and for our tutorial we need to check the lines so you can play with the contrast also and with the size but for our tutorial I'm going to choose the smallest size. Click OK and now we are going to set this layer to soft light and I'm going to decrease the opacity to around 40 or 30 percent something like that now let's merge all the layers into one layer so just press the shortcut on the on your keyboard ctrl alt shift and i so we have this merge layer from all the layers now let's call this one glitch and now you have to remember two shortcuts on your keyboard first is m which is the marquee tool just draw a shape or rectangle and with the letter V you take the move tool and just move that part to the right. Alright, so press M, select a section, press V and move that section to left or right. You can do this the, with the whole image if you want and you have full control of what you're moving. So yeah, this is one way of doing the glitch effect and now I'm going to show you the other way. The second method is using a wave filter. So deselect this layer, let's create a new layer by pressing Ctrl, Alt, Shift and I to merge all the layers into one single layer. Now we are taking the marquee tool, the rectangle marquee tool or press the letter M and we are going to select parts of the body and just hold Shift to select more. Alright, so I'm going to make random selection to the body wherever I think that it's okay and then I'm going to use a filter to generate a glitch effect instead of moving myself the parts as I explained you in the first part of the tutorial. Now I prefer more the manual method because I want to uh, have full control wherever I move parts of the image. Alright, let's say that we have generated enough selections, so go to filter and here choose this sort and take the wave filter. Now select the square from the type, select square and you can play around with the wavelength and with the amplitude and all the other, alright? So I'm going to keep a small scale and size. I don't want to ruin it too much and then you can generate more or less glitch effects. 
I mean waves. Alright, click OK, deselect by pressing Ctrl Command D and this is how Photoshop is using that wave filter to generate another glitch effect. So it's up to you which one do you prefer more. As I said, I prefer the manual mode but sometimes if you want to have a random glitch effect you can use the wave effect. Thank you so much for joining me in this new tutorial. If you haven't subscribed it yet to my channel, please consider to subscribe it to be in touch with my latest tutorials. Anyways, until the next tutorial, see you on Instagram. Don't forget to follow me there because there I can answer your own questions and I can help you out with your own project. See you next time.